Hello everybody, I'm back with another movie review. Now today I'm seeing something a little bit different. Today I'm watching If, which is a touch on a child's movie. Um, I don't usually watch these kind of movies, but I definitely wanted to give it a chance. This movie is actually about a young girl who discovers that she can actually see imaginary friends. And she embarks on a magical journey to reconnect forgotten ifs or imaginary friends with their lost friends, which are probably adults at this point. Now this movie is actually directed by John Krasinski, which I'm a huge fan of because, um, as you know, Quiet Place. Quiet Place is actually his movie. He wrote and directed that movie. And he's also in that with Emily, Emily Blunt. And she plays uh, his wife in the movie, but in actuality, um, they're married in real life. So it's really nice to see them working together. Um, and she's actually in this movie as well. So. so let's go in, give it a fair chance, and I'll be back to tell you what I think. I just finished watching If. I definitely cried, not just at the end. This was awesome. I don't know what Rotten Tomatoes is talking about. This was awesome. I absolutely loved it. Let me just tell you why. So maybe they weren't giving a lot of credit in regards to um, the story how it played out. It was slightly slow and she wasn't like on a she was out to connect the ifs with the people. She didn't get very far because she actually went to go live with her grandmother while her father was waiting for a heart surgery. And so the actual rise and fall of the whole movie was basically um, her running around with this gentleman, Ryan Reynolds, and all the imaginary friends while her, uh, while her father was waiting in the hospital for a heart surgery which went well there was a slight scare and that was enough time for her to pour her heart out a little bit to her father but um it was nothing nothing huge but what i will say in regards to the movie in itself the ifs that did connect definitely did their job and let me tell you this was so beautiful to look at um the acting was amazing the acting was really great because they had to act with, I don't know how I'm gonna watch it behind the scenes, but I know that um, they had to interact with things that weren't really there. But the, the special, um, but the special effects, the special effects of the imaginary friends in the actual world, it was seamless. Definitely hats off to the cinematographer. The use of natural light in this movie is absolutely breathtaking. I love it. And then, there is a part where they actually go to the ifs retirement home where you see all the ifs it's really incredible to see some of the creations that i made one of the ifs is an actual glass of ice water and i love ice water you guys it's my favorite <laughs> ice water with nut, and i like ice and one of the ifs was a, a cup of ice water it was so cute the tone of the film uh this was the setting was in new york so the set design um, was very vintage. They used a lot of vintage pieces, a lot of vintage pieces, um, a lot of a lot of color. Um, it's incredible. It was like a parade for your eyes. In one of the scenes, um, Ryan Reynolds falls into the pool, swims out of the ocean, and then back into the original set through a painting. It, it's so creative. It really is. Ryan Reynolds is great in this movie. I don't want to give away the end. Um, it puts me in the mind of Sixth Sense a little bit, the ending, just a little bit. Um, but other than the story being on the slower end and slightly anticlimactic, 
I think that would be the reason why it got so low in Rotten Tomatoes. However, like I said, I cried at the end and I laughed out loud. This was so fun. It, the characters were very, very animated. This was a lot of fun. I enjoyed myself at this. So I definitely encourage you to see this movie. Whether I would like it or not, I would encourage you to see this movie. Um, but I was not, um, I was not not satisfied. I was very satisfied, especially visually. This, this is a visual masterpiece, I would say, definitely. So I was actually thinking about it in regards to um, Mental Health Awareness Month as well. So think back to when you were a child, what did you do and what made you happy? I didn't have a, <laughs> I didn't have an imaginary friend, but I, I had cinema, I had movies, and I still love movies. It's the one thing that really brings me joy. Um, I don't know if you guys remember Drop Dead Fred. Loved him. <laughs> and Little Monsters. That was a good movie too. Those were two of my favorite. Those were two of my favorite movies. Um, but if you really think about what you enjoyed as a child, if you go back and try to do some of the things that you liked when you were a child, um, you'll find that it probably will still bring you a little bit of joy, probably a lot of joy. This is my, you know, my happy place. So come see this movie. This was pretty awesome. And um, we'll see you on the next one.